So I thought I'd make another little tutorial um, using my little bunny ears, but this time I've made a little bunny in disguise as a gonk. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I had a lot of fun making it in some lovely pastel colors. So I'm going to start by cutting out some ears for our little bunny gonk here. I have some Saracino modeling paste that we're going to make the whole gonk out of. And I've rolled some white out about two millimeters thick. Don't make it too thick um, as you want to be able to fold the ears in nicely and you want to be able to bend them over nicely. So a little bit thinner is always better. Cut out two pieces of white for the main part of the ear and then cut out thinner pink pieces for the inner ear. And all you're going to do is you're going to pop these on to the white piece and just gently press them down with your finger and it should stick in place as it is normally a little bit tacky when you've just rolled it and cut it. If need be though you can use a little bit of sugar glue at this point to stick the pink inner ear on. So all I'm going to do is I pick up my ears and I'm going to fold them in just slightly and pinch and then I'm going to bend them into a little bit of a shape to start drying in that shape but we will adjust these ears later when we actually add it to the gonk which is great because it will still be a little bit soft but dry enough to still stand up straight on the hat. So now we're going to start with the gonk itself. Now I've made some pale yellow paste here. You can obviously use any colors you like. Um, and I'm going to start rolling this big ball into a big teardrop shape. And while I'm rolling this into the shape, I'm pushing this down on my board with the bottom of my hands. And this is just making it nice and flat on the bottom and giving, instead of having a rounded edge on the bottom of, of the outfit. And gently roll a little bit more to make it a bit taller. I wanted to make this gong fairly tall because the ears are quite big. Trim off the top edge and this is where your hat is going to sit on later. Just roll gently and get this nicely shaped so it's as even as possible. Now to add the little feet in, you're going to need a little space to put them. So use a ball tool and press up into the gonk's outfit to make two dents where you're going to fit the feet in. Just make sure not to squeeze the paste too hard while you're doing this because you don't want to misshape your, your paste in your hand. Now I'm going to show you how to make little bunny feet and you need a ball of white modeling paste and you're going to roll it slightly into a teardrop shape and then you're going to square the foot off a little bit with your fingers. And once you've done that use a knife and just mark three little toes in your paste so that you've got a lovely little bunny foot with chunky toes. Pick these pieces up. If you need to, you can add some glue to stick this on, but they were still a little bit tacky anyway, and they're stuck in place anyway. And set this aside, and that's your little feet added to your gong. Now I did use a Dresden tool just to add a little bit of texture to the outfit, so it looks like the outfit is long and hanging over the feet, so it looks more like fabric. You just add as you want, you don't even have to do this part. Um, I just wanted a little bit more of a fabric effect on the actual character. And there you go. So now before we start the arms, I want to add some little flowers onto the front of the gonk so it looks like the gonk is holding flowers. So I've rolled some thin green paste out here and I'm just sticking this in strips onto the front in the middle of the outfit and just gently add them on. I am using a little bit of sugar glue here. I just make my sugar glue by breaking up some sugar paste and popping this in a bottle and pouring some hot water over it until it melts. And I, I make myself a fresh bottle each week to use. It's fantastic to just add a little bit of stickiness where you need it on your characters without too much. So I just, I've added a couple of stems on here and I just want to pinch them in slightly so it looks like a bunch of flowers and separate the stems slightly at the bottom just to give it a bit of extra effect. And there you go, you've got your stems and you're going to make some roses to go on these. So before we add the roses, we're going to add the arms onto your character. I've added the first arm on so I can show you how to add the second arm and you know how it looks on the character. Start with a ball of paste and roll it into a long teardrop shape. 
pop this down on your mat and what you're going to do is you're going to trim off just the end the fatter part the end um, for the end of the sleeve and then you are going to take the arm and you're going to bend it slightly to get a little crease in the arm and you're going to add this directly to your character and you'll add the paw on in a minute there's a little bit of sugar glue here to stick it in place and press gently in place. I use my Dresden tool just to give some creases in the arm, in the actual sleeve where the arm is bent. It just adds a little bit more detail. For the little paw part, you're gonna roll very similar to what you did the foot. Um, you're gonna roll it into a fat teardrop shape, square it off a little bit, and I'm just using my craft knife here to make three little fingers. And I'm going to trim the back end off so that it sits flush against the end of the sleeve on the bunny and just stick that in place and I'm just fixed the lines slightly here because I damaged them while I was adding it to the character now to add the end bit of the sleeve if you roll a piece of paste out and press this flatter and all I'm doing is with my Dresden tool I'm just adding a little bit of ruffle detail and then I'm going to trim the edges just to give myself a little strip here and trim the top edge so it can tuck in around the sleeve itself. Add some glue and tuck it in around. And there you go, you've got your arm and your sleeve all finished and anything else that needs tucking in, just use the back of your Dresden tool and you can fix the lines too. So now we're going to make some roses. I've rolled out a sausage shape here and I'm just rolling it a bit thinner with my rolling pin. Pick this up and start rolling this in between your fingers and just feed it round and make a little rose shape. Feed it all the way to the end and then pinch between your fingers and roll between your fingers to thin out the back piece. You're going to cut that back piece off, but you just don't want to damage the top of the rose part. Trim that back piece off and now you're going to add your roses. Now you will see I will use a cocktail stick to actually pick the roses up to transfer them onto the character. It's just a little bit easier than trying to hold these tiny little things in your hand and getting them damaged. You will see that I put them all together and then they all popped off. Um, but I just fixed them with my cocktail stick and just stuck them on again. I needed just a tiny little bit more glue behind them. So just add them in place onto the front of your character. Try not to press too hard on the top of them because when you do, it does flatten the rose effect and you don't really want that to happen. This is where I had to fix them. Not everything goes smoothly all the time in the cake room. Just neaten them up and there you go. Your little gonk bunny is holding roses. Right, so now you're going to make a nose. You add the nose before you add the hat onto your character. So I've ro rolled a white oval shape here and I'm gently bending it slightly and thinning out from the top and filling out on the sides to have little cheeks. Use your, the side of your finger to indent just at the bottom to create where you'd put the mouth and gently round the edges nicely for the little cheeks on the snout nose area. So now I'm going to just use my Dresden tool to add a little line up the middle of this and I'm going to use the back of my Dresden tool just to flatten the top part where you're going to fit the nose onto this at a later stage. Now to make the little mouth you need a tiny little piece of white and you want it pointy each end and just roll it out gently in your hand and stick this on the back of the cheeks and snout part and there you've got a little mouse now to create a nose start with a little pink piece of paste and just between your fingers shape this into a triangle shape to add to your character and you're going to just stick it in place at the top of the snout and you can use your dressing tool just to tidy up and make it a bit straighter on the edges and give it more of a triangular shape. A little bit of sugar glue on your character and you can pop this onto your character. 
just add it gently you don't want to press too hard you don't want to misshape it but this paste does hold its shape so well when you're working with it anyway now to make the hat of the character i have made mine really big but i wanted a really long tall hat because the ears are quite big i didn't want the hat to get lost behind the ears i wanted them to kind of be in proportion so roll out your paste and make sure you've got a lovely thin pointy piece at the end and that will be the top of the hat now i'm just using my fingers to thin out the edges and to flare it out a little bit because this will be the base of the hat and this needs to kind of cover the top part of your gong and cover the shoulders a bit too but you also don't want to cover too much of the nose the nose still needs to be peeking out from the bottom of it I did check this a couple of times against my character to see where I'm at. You can obviously use a little bit of support in it, but I didn't feel the need to with my character. Maybe because it wasn't going on a cake, but it did hold its shape really well. I rounded the back edge there just a little bit so that the hat sat on a rounded piece rather than just flat. And I'm just flaring out the back a little bit more to come down the back a bit and flaring out just a little bit on the edges and checking again so you can see that I'm happy with the fit here. Now I'm pushing this down onto my gong. Obviously don't push down too hard. You don't want to lose the whole shape of your gong. Um, even though this paste holds its shape really, really well, just be gentle but firm. I'm using the back of my Dresden tool to create a folded fabric effect along the base of the hat. So it's going over the nose and down the sides and around the back. And just add as many lines as you like. You don't even have to do this. You could add a bit of trim if you wanted instead. Um, I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So I bent the hat forward a little bit just to balance the gong so it wasn't leaning backwards with the hat, otherwise it will fall over. Bend it, fold it, and I ended up in a nice little point at the top. Again, I'm using my Dresden tool just to mark where there's little bends and folds in it, um, just for extra effect and a little bit of fabric effect, so it looks like a fabric hat. And there you go, you've got a lovely little hat for your gong. And you can see that the ears will fit nicely on the gong. So I'm going to adjust the ears slightly in a minute you will see that I'm actually trimming them off a little bit just to make them that slight bit shorter purely because they are very long. So I've adjusted them slightly, pinch again, like I said, it's only been drying for a little bit of time anyway, so they're still quite flexible, but they're holding their shape. I'm using the back of my scoop side of the Dresden tool to make little holes where I want the little um, ears to fit in. I added a tiny bit of glue in there and I'm going to pop my ear in and when I've pushed my ear in you will see that I use the scoop part of my Dresden tool again just to push this against the hat to make sure it's sticking in place and that it's shaped into the hat. And you see how well it holds its shape there and these are only these have only been drying for about 15 minutes while I've been filming the rest of the gonk. Again, just press the next one in and press it in to make sure that it's sticking properly in your hat. And there you go, you've got your ears in your hat. And they're perfectly formed and I'm just fiddling and bending them over to give them a little bit more movement on the actual character. And just neaten up nicely to make sure you're happy with that. And there you go, you can see the ears nicely on your gonk. So to finish my little character, I added a few more little roses just to the ears with some little leaves. I'm using a teardrop cutter here and I've cut out some light green paste and I'm going to use a Dresden tool to just mark a little line in the leaf, in the middle of the leaf shape. And I will pick it up and fold it over to create a little leaf. And that's all I did around the ear and I used a little bit of sugar glue to stick that on made a couple more roses like I showed you earlier in the video and I just stuck them in place so it really looked like a little Easter springtime gonk bunny. I really hope you've enjoyed this and found it entertaining and I hope you make them for Easter.